Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebot, 2000 Teenex. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Welcome, everybody, to Undertale. My name is Protimus. Like I said, welcome to Undertale, everybody. Now, this game was recommended to me uh, by Irony Cat. Uh, thank you very much. Now, full disclosure, I have played Undertale in the past. On my old gaming channel that I had, I did, in fact, play Undertale uh, when it around about when it first came out. Okay, we're going to skip that. We're not going to go to that again. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get right into it. I have played this. Now, the plan is I'm going to play Undertale and then go right into Deltarune, which I have not played yet. So, that'll be a completely new thing, but we're going to be in Undertale for a minute, because I'm not good at this game. Okay. So let us get going. Uh, let's see, Fallen Human, we're going to go with... Uh, oh boy, I forgot how to... Already, I for, already forgot how to play this game. Okay, we're going to go with... We're going to go with Frisk, because I'm uh, uh, not a creative individual. Uh, Frisk, there we go. Hey, you know what? No, just... Uh, uh, Let's let's go with the let's go with the channel name. I was gonna go with Frisk, but you know what? No, we're gonna go with the channel name. Or right, we're gonna go with Brodum. <laughs> I forgot it will fit. I, I, there's so many things. It's been it's been years since I played Undertale, so we're gonna go with Brodum. Good old Brodum. Oh, that sounds like something else. That's gonna I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Yeah, Brodum's fine. <laughs> Stupid. Look at this. Look at look at here's here's Frisk up uh, Brodum. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Let's just get going into it, huh? So this game is, uh, it's a kind of a puzzle adventure game with some, um... Yeah, you know what Undertale is. You don't have to... I guess I'll explain as I go. Look at this. Look at this. What if I just, uh... Oh, boy. Okay. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Yes, Mr. Flowey. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. <sighs> See that art? That's your soul. The very combination of your being. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I gotta... This, like, this, this is the combat system. In case you were wondering. Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain a lot of... Uh, LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. That's okay. That's okay, I don't, yeah, I know this works. Hey buddy, you missed them. Oh, you hear this music? Oh. Let's try again, okay? But I don't want your friendliness pellets. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. Friendliness pellets. <laughs> nah. Nah, dog. Nah, dude. Oh, boy. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Oh, my goodness gracious. Die. Ah. Uh. He? Ooh, oh boy! I f I forgot about this. Piss off, Flowey. <laughs> this face. Oh, what a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. 
You were the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Walk this way! Okay, so yeah, that's the combat. Um, the whole thing with this game is that you don't have to kill or fight anything. You can be completely passive, which I'm going for the true passive ending, because I'm not subjecting myself to the genocidist run. I'm not doing it. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Thank you. So yeah, this, this, these are save points. Um, yeah, they're just, they're save points. This is what they are, what they is, what they be. Now, there's some lore about determination where it involves, like, maybe time travel? I don't know. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Look at that. It's a puzzle. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay. Look at that. Here we go. Hey, what's like? There's a thing up here. What's it say? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk, not the middle road. Okay, fair. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. Hey, look at that. I'm already doing that. Stay on the path. What if I don't want to? <laughs> Can I... Hey, Toriel. Okay, fine. <laughs> flip. And flip. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Okie dokie, Tori. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay. Yeah. You encountered the dummy. Mercy. Uh, spare. Dummy stands around absentmindedly. Dummy? Yeah, we talk to the dummy. You talk to the dummy. The dummy talks back. <laughs> it doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! Uh, you earn zero XP and zero gold. Yay! Ah, very good. You are very good. Yes. Yes, I am very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Oh, Tori. You know not the brilliance of my- Oh, Froggit! Froggit! Uh, what if we compliment Froggit? Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> Look at Tori's face! <laughs> you won! <laughs> oh, what was it say? The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. You didn't even let me try to solve it. You're just gonna walk me through it. Thanks, Toriel. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Alright. You have done excellently thus far, my child. I don't like... We just met she's calling me her child. It's kind of weird. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I love the music. The music, the music. So this game is uh, was developed by Toby Fox, who is uh, a Homestuck m uh, music creator back in the day. So it's that the music is awesome in this game. Boy, it's a it's a long room, huh? Hey, look, a pillar. <laughs> Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I'm fine. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I, I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Yeah, I'll be good. But I'm not gonna stay here. I ain't about that life. 
<laughs> Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. Yeah, I got it. Hey, Froggit! Robert, Robert. Oh, excuse me, Shuman. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster doesn't want, does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human Robert. Okay, yeah, fine. I got it. Playful, playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Thank you. Leaf pile. All right, let's see what's going on. Whoop, hello. Whimson. Whimson. Console Whimson. Halfway through your first word, Whimson bursts into tears and runs away. You won! Aw, Whimson. Forgot about Whimson. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Sure. You took a piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. I have a piece of candy. What, uh, what is this? Monster candy. Heals 10 HP. Has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Good, because licorice sucks. Well, black licorice sucks. Right, like red vines and Twizzlers, which aren't really licorice. Those are incredible. Those are some, that's some good stuff. That's the goodness. Yep, fell down a hole. Great. Let's see. See, I'm, uh, okay, sorry. No, I'm just an idiot. This takes me to this room. There we go. Look at that. Whimson. Whimson. Halfway through your first word. Whimson bursts into tears and runs away. I won. Whimson. Random encounters. Not, never been a fan of Whimson encounter. Uh, Whimson encounters. <laughs> Random encounters. I'm a fan of Whimson encounters. Hello. This is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh, let's go with the bee scotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Yay. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if found if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. <laughs> oh, lover. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Hang on. Oh! Frog it. I got two gold. Alright, push the rock. Three... <laughs> I missed that joke last time, actually. Last time I played this, three out of four rocks recommend you push them. Oh, boy. Okay. Um. Oh, man. There's... Hmm. I'm gonna fall, ain't I? Yep. Dang it. There's a specific path you have to follow for this. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. It's... Oh, man. Please, do not step on the leaves. Yeah. Yeah, this puzzle's really interesting yeah this puzzle sucks it's so oh man i remember it now i remember now it's like you got to follow the path of uh and it's like you skip one and then it's yeah oh man oh mold small mold small uh what if i flirt with mold small you wiggle your hips mold small wiggles back what a meaningful conversation slimes up oh oh it's a bullet hell oh it's a bullet hell Oh boy, Mold Small is ruminating. <laughs> That's not pleasant. Uh, don't step on the leaves. So we go down here, and then... Oh, I don't remember. Shoot! Oh, Froggit and a Whimson! Alright, let's console Whimson first. Halfway through your first word, a Whimson bursts into tears and runs away. Alright, so... Um, meow. <laughs> meow. Ow, oh, gosh. It, you are intimidated by Froggit's raw strength, but what if I compliment Froggit? Didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Oh boy, okay, that was almost really bad. Two of the golds. Okay, then we skip over here. We go over to the leaf, then down, then all the way over and up, and look at that, puzzle solved. Okay, <laughs> now here's, here's the funny bit. Ow! Mold small. You lie immobile with mold small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Oh, it's really throwing me for a loop. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, the random encounters. I've never been a fan of random encounters. So, here's the joke. Three out of four rocks recommend you push them. <laughs> Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Mm. So you're asking me to move over. All right, I'll move uh, just for you, bumpkin. Mm. Want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? You. Mm. 
That's the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. There you go. Thanks, pal. Was that helpful? Yes, it was. was that? Okay, you're just gonna keep repeating that. Hey, pal. Mm. Oh, you want me to stay there? Oh, you'll give me a real workout. You're, you just, I need you just to be immobile on a button. Ooh, knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Mouse hole. That was making a lot of I've been ma I've been making determination jokes for a long time. The cheese has been here for quite a long time. It's stuck to the oh, stuck to the table. Hey! <laughs> I forgot. Oh, I forgot. Z Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z. I'll oh, he's actually saying Z. <laughs> I'll repeatedly pretending to sleep. Move it with force? No. Z -z 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 Are they gone yet? Z -z oh, this ghost keeps saying Z. I'll repeatedly pretending to sleep. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll have to move it with force. Here comes Napstab look. Napstab look. Oh, I love Napstab look. Uh, what if I cheer him? You gave Napstab look a, a patient uh, smile. Wow. Weird. <laughs> oh man, the music is so good. If I cheer him on again, you would hold Napstab look a little joke. <laughs> really not feeling it uh, up to it right now. Sorry. Oh, it's okay, Napstab look. Cheering seems to have improved Napstab look's mood again. So what if I try cheering again? Napstab look wants to show you something. Let me try. Hey! I call it Dapper Blook. Oh, Dapper Blook! Do you like it? Of course I do. Napster Blook eagerly awaits your response. Uh, let's cheer him again. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Bye, Napstab Look! I love him. I love Napstab Look so much. Okay, hang on. What's oh, what's this way? What's this way? Hello. Oh, this is where Muffet is, isn't it? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Oh, okay. Leave 7G in the web? No. Leave 18G in the web. I don't have enough. I only have 8G. So yeah, I'll leave 7G in here. Yeah, sure. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. I got a donut! I don't have 18 gold, though, so that kind of sucks. Alright, what's the sign say? Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders. For spiders. Of spi of spiders. Oh boy. Uh, uh, sorry. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. Oh! That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course. I heard you a full commercial of a full screen. I had to saw, I had to figure that out. I started recording. I was like, how the fuck do I make the game full screen? I know I can do it. What does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. You know what? Yes, this is troubling. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Uh, it's... Uh, very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is a strength you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if the name isn't yellow. Oh. Oh boy, okay. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. Man, I've been going for 22 minutes already. Alright, what do we got in here? What kind of puzzle? Uh, there is just one switch. Okay. I'm on it. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's go in here. Oh! Ooh! Migasp crawled up close. Mold Small. Alright, let's flirt with Mold Small. You wiggle your hips. Mold Small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. He the swarm. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. I mean, if I just kind of stay in the middle here, I'm fine. Mold Small blurbles quietly. All right, Migasp. Let's talk to Migasp. I don't care. Oh, boy, okay. Well, I mean, I think I could just see... Oh, ow. <laughs> well, Mold Small blurbles quietly. All right, what if we get Spare? Hmm, cha-cha-cha. Doop-a-doop-a-doop, you dancing. Look at him dancing. 
Check, look, look, check me out, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Me gasp, talk. Hiya, 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 hiya. I don't, I don't know. Me gasp doesn't have a care in the world. Alright, let's spare him. Hey, look at that. Three gold. Got the three G's. Alright, let's see. Um, So that switch is... Hey, look! There's a... There's there's a Napstab look. We gotta go talk to him. We gotta go talk to St Nap uh, Napstab look again. Yeah, Napstab look! I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. <laughs> I love him. What are these weird pineapple things down here? No, I'm curious. I'm curious of things. Whoop! Ah! All right, let's see what this thing is. Hello. Oh, Vegetoid. Um, let's talk. Plants can't talk, dummy. Um, that that's a, that was a parrot. Vegetoid here for your health. Uh, so dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Um, okay. Eat the green. Ow! Oh, man, he's kicking my ass. Okay, what if I spare? You won! Man, he beat the shit out of me. Okay, so that's what that thing does. I don't want to do that again. It kicked my behind. Kicked me right in the b-hole. Oh, did it, did it work? Did I do? Did I do goo? Did I just... Gosh, dang it. Whoa, hello. Looks. Uh, don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. Look at this. Look at oh, oh boy. He sped up. Okay. Looks. Yeah, look at that. You won. Get them 5G's. He's absolutely horrifying to look at. Oh, I vaguely remember this puzzle. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Mm-hmm. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. Nothing happened. Um it's a switch. Press it. Yes. Nothing happened. I got a random encounter again. La la, just be yourself. Be yourself. Get it? Because he's an insect. Mercy, spare him. Got, give me them two G's. Um, what do this do? It's a switch. Press it. Yes. Nothing happened. Cool. A shift in perspective, right? Yeah, it just changes how I see this room now. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Okay. Okay, it's a switch. Press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. Yay, look at that. I remember where the blue switch was. And now we go out here. Um, okay, what does this one say? If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay, red switch is up here. Gosh, dingle darn it. All right, red switch, here we go. It's switch. Press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound, and I see the spikes retract. Uh, come on, come on, Brodom, let's go. Okay, and where is this last sign? If you can read this, press the green switch. Uh, is the green one over here? I don't remember. A pair of looks. I had to eat the spider donut because I was getting my ass beat, man. Ah, yes, I know, I get it. Green switch. Green switch is over here. It's switch. Press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. Look at that. I did it. I done diddly did it. Um, what's over here? <laughs> Curiosity. It's forever my my bane. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I don't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. You came out of here. Whoa, hello. You found the toy knife. Oh boy, I don't like that. Look at that. What a nice view. Would you look at that? That's pretty neat. This is supposed to be an arrow pointing me up here to entice me into following it. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I'm right here, Tori. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. I was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Yeah, I will do. We'll do, Mama Tori. There you go. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. All right. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise, surprise for you. Okay, what's the surprise? This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aww, look at that. 
Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home! Certainly. I want to go check out, uh... I want to go over here. Look at that. It's you! It's me! Room under renovations. Okay. Anything here? Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Hello, what's this? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Sure. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of, sim of a similar caliber. Oh, boy. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants of, with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> sock drawer. Oh boy, just a regular old bucket of snails. <laughs> this game's funny, man. This is weird. Why is this? Hmm. And then look, here's my room. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can take a nap. Take a little nappy. Oh! You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh! An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Hmm. Okay. Got anything down here? What's down here? Hmm. I don't like this. <laughs> I want to go converse with Toriel first. Look at her. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I was prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still... I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, when can I go home? What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How do I exit the ruins? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails... Talk... Really... Slowly? Uh, just kidding, snails don't talk. Uh, interesting. How do I exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go ransack your kitchen. Hang on. What do we got? For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. I'm glad that I just jumped straight to- well, I guess this is a fantasy world. Even if I'm from the surface world. Because humans can use magic, but monsters can't? Is that part of the lore? I don't remember. Alright, let's go downstairs. Hi, Tori. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave it again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No! No, that's okay. No, because I... <laughs> this is the way the plot is. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they... Asgore will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Mmm, sorry. Sorry, ma'am. I gotta... Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Yeah, well, I'm stubborn like that. What can I say? You want to leave so badly? Hm. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Toriel blocks the way. Toriel? We're gonna show... Spare. Hm. Whoa! Oh boy! Oh, I really got myself into a corner there, didn't I? Toriel is acting aloof. Uh, I'll spare you again. How do you like that? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm really bad at bullet hell games. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Yeah, well, I ain't having it. I'm really bad at bullet hells. Uh, 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 uh. I'm really bad at. What are you doing? 
dying is what I'm doing, Tori. Attack or run away. Oh, now she's not attacking me. Toriel is acting aloof. What are you proving this way? That I am strong, Toriel. Toriel is acting aloof. Fight me or leave. Mm-mm, ain't happening. Ain't happening, ma'am. She prepares a magical attack. Stop it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, I'm gonna sit right here. <laughs> and be a... Uh, ooh, Toriel looks through you. Stop looking at me that way. No. No. Because, you know what? No, see? This is this is the power of love. Go away. No. I'm hanging out right here. She's acting all aloof. It's just a, a, a repetitive type thing. A lot of the fights devolve into just doing the same thing over and over again. Um, Just because it's to, it's to prove a point, really. I know you want to go home, but... You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh, okay, we're just gonna keep it in spare, huh? But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Sorry, Tori. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tori. <sighs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. <sighs> no, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please, do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. I'm sorry, Goat Mom. Goodbye, my child. Hmm... Yeah. Here we go. It's the <laughs> it's the uh, the elite four walk from Ruby and Sapphire. <laughs> you remember the stairs you had to climb? <laughs> it took forever just to get to the next stage of the elite four. Oh man, I remember what comes next. You have this dickhead. Clever, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world. It's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Oh, okay. Things connected there for me. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world, and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Oh boy, that is unsettling as shit. Oh, I don't like it. Get the fuck out, you creepy fucking flower. And now we begin the story of Undertale Doom Doom by Toby Fox. Yeah. Feels good to come back and play this. Like I said, it's been a few years since I played. Alright, let's see. There should be a determination spot somewhere close by, maybe. Or is it gonna make me go through? Yeah, this is a good way to end it. Go around. Ooh, did you see? Hey, God, did you see the stick? It's still broke. It's still broke. <laughs> this game can be real creepy when it wants to. Oh, there he is. 
The atmosphere of this game is done so well. Human. Don't you know, uh, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. Good old Snaz Undertale. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. And now my brother, Papyrus, is a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. <laughs> Quick, behind the conveniently shaped lamp. Uh, I forgot how funny this game is. Sup, bro? You know what's, uh, what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. You want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. <laughs> Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Fucking... <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Fucking... Ah! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Oh my gosh. Forgot how funny this game is. You ought to get going. You might come back. And if he does, you have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Fair. What's this? What are, what are this? Can I interact with this? No, I cannot. What are this? It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Hmm. Actually, hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. And he goes off the opposite direction. Okay, here we go. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, we're gonna call it there. Oh my gosh, I forgot how funny this game is and how just good and atmospheric it is. Oh man. So, that's an episode, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you click the like button down below. Subscribe so you can keep up with my stuff. New episode every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, what else is there? Comment! Let me know what you guys think. Let me Have you, have you seen Undertale before? Because if you have, you kind of know what's coming along. If, ha if you haven't, I'm interested to see what your thoughts are. Um, because, like I said, I've played this game before, so I kind of know what's coming, what's going to happen. Um, but I'm really excited about this, and I hope you guys are too. So let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, share it with your friends. Show them... Uh, I'm super far behind. Undertale is pretty much come and gone at this point. But if they haven't seen Undertale, show them the beginning of this. Because this game only gets better from here on. It's such a good game. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope to see you next time. Later, everybody.